Yep. Back out. Again. This time, it's not summer anymore. It's nasty, man. It's freezing. I'm in the village of Kirk Yetholm. Uh, this here is uh, it's a village in the Scottish borders. And it's um, about eight miles southeast of Kelso. And it's less than a mile west of the border. And this is a 13th century church. I think 13th century. Kidding. Can it be? It must have been built on new. Right, anyway, I'm uh, heading into the hills. Heading for the hills to escape the rat race of the week back to work. It's awful, isn't it? When you go back to work after your holiday. I know I had the Monday off, but even so, it was odd. It was a hard week. Just catching up. Look at this. Big apple tree. Fair game, I think. I have one of them. Lovely. Mmm. Anyway, we'll push on. Rain's just coming on. So I'm fully, fully waterproofed. Nice, man. Bit of golden delicious. I think it's the camp, camping on there last time. We we'll walk around the side of that one. And miles, it's a long way yet, like. It's a good few miles yet, where I'm going. Look at the river. A lot of rain, you see. Nice. Quiet here, like. It's quiet, but it's not much to do, really. Other than unless, unless you're in the climbing hills. Look at this, it's like nature's larder. Ah, you bugger. Protected by thorns. Ah, got it. Blackberries, see. There's a bit of vitamin C. That I had before was lovely. A little bit soft. Ugh. Too soft. See, everything's going over now. Do we think everything came out too early this year? So it's all going over. I remember we used to go picking blackberries in October. We used to get millions. Random pit. Right, let's keep going. Come back in a bit. Well, I've done nearly three miles all on the flat leg, so it's not hard. Now I've got to start going up. I'm going up here. Look what's dotted on the hill. I've got to walk right through the middle of them blinking cows. No calves, so it should be alright. But look at the weather coming. That's coming towards me. So I've put the I've put the cover on. I'm all waterproofed up. Put this up. I get the hood up and then just get wet I suppose but I've got to I've had it easy so up to now so I've got to start climbing I'm still feeling it from that um, Sullivan walk god that killed me my legs were aching for like three or four days Cows. I don't know, the path might go to the left of them, but from what I can see here, it goes right through the middle. Cows are alright. Just don't uh, well, try not to get too close. And just don't be frightened, really. Just make yourself big, you know. They're normally scared of you, they normally run out of your way. It's normally people with dogs that they don't like, little dogs running about. And you know, they say if you've got a dog and it comes across cattle, let it off the lead. Because the dog can run faster than any cow. And it'll be alright, the dog will be fine. But if you've got it on a lead, the cows could get you then. Documented that. It's well known. Alright, get ready for the hike. 
Oh, weather. <laughs> Here they come, charging towards us. So you've got to stand your ground. This looks like the, the gather here, like. Well, they're being very random. I'll give them that. Now then, oh God. Doesn't help them going uphill. I can't outrun them. Look at them, man. Yeah, you just, you just stay over there. I'll come over here. Up to you. I'm filming you. You bad buggers. So. Basically, no matter where I go, they're gonna come in. Well, it's a Mexican standoff. So, <laughs> see, they're scared as well. Make yourself big. Ugh. Get back. Get back. Back, I say. And then get on the path here. Being flanked. So just keep making yourself big. Stop them in their tracks. Try not to turn your back on them. <laughs> Sketchy this like. See how they follow you? They're just curious. Curious, aren't you? You wanna know what I'm doing? In their patch. These are just young ones, these. You just carry on eating your grass. This one here is a sketchy one. Should I be walking poles? Hey! What's going on? There shouldn't be feral cows in fields where people walk. A cow encounter. Let's carry on. Come up behind us. I wish I was on the downhill. Well, I lost interest. I just stayed down the bottom. I'm hoping that they stay down there because the weather up here is not good. Because there's loads. There's some over there. There's more there. Them ones down the back there. Oh, this is quite a hill. I'm heading up here. I'm sure I've camped here before, this area, but I came in from that side. I'll find out. Oh, I'll find out. Aye, the cows. A lot of people don't like that. Personally, I'm not scared of them, but I'm very, I'm very aware of what they can do. So, tip is don't turn your back on them. Just keep them. I was doing this. I was just making myself big. And they were stopping in their tracks. <sighs> Didn't help that I was going uphill. I was tiring. But yeah, there can be buggers. Buggers. Anyway, the rain's kicking in. I'm just gonna get up now. Get the tent up. Sheltered. Where I am currently is called Wild Goose Hill. I'll be right. Freaking Wild Goose, I'll be right. 
wild goose chase. It's an old Bronze Age Roman Neolithic thought, fort. Thought. Over there is just wild wilderness. I'm not actually sure where that is. But yeah, I've got to find somewhere around here. I've got to use this wall as a bit of shelter because the wind's picking up. But it's it's proven a bit tricky because it's a bit uneven. There's loads of cow muck as well, so they, they do come up and along here. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking if, if the weather's not good, they'll stay down low, won't they? <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, I've got my fists of fury to, to sort them. <laughs> fists of fury. Like Bruce Blinken, Grobbler. Right, I'm gonna find somewhere to pitch. Uh, this is like the most sheltered bit. As soon as I got up high there, I was blowing a gale. Well, I'm set up. I got somewhere. Nice little perch. Look, I can see for miles. I can see them cows down there at the bottom of the hill. That's the most important thing. This wall counts forever. It counts for miles. I wonder if that's the border. To check the map. Oh dear. That's the fort over there. Not the big one, this one just in front of you. But yeah, set up here. The ground's terrible. I'm gonna go and try and find a rock to bang these pegs in a bit more. It's rocky as anything. Can't get them in properly. I mean, it's solid enough. It's not going anywhere. Got the back to the wind. I found with this tent, this, this pole doesn't push in. The old one used to push in. The red label one. This one doesn't. This one, it used to like push in if the wind hit it. This one doesn't do that. That's the difference. So yeah, 10 past five. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then just get myself, get out of these wet clothes and dry it off. I've got some change of clothes in there. Woo! What a job. What a job. Here we go then now. We're gonna have a nice cup of tea with the Fire Maple Mars Radiant Stove. You know, this is one of these radiant stoves. Absolutely, really hot, right? So be careful when you cook and don't cook inside the tent. I've got the door wide open here. It's a bit windy, so we'll see how it copes with the wind. But the heat comes off it, it's amazing. I'll just shift everything out of the way. We've got the collapsible cup. And I've also got the titanium pot that I was on about. I'll show you what you can do with that later. First we'll get this up and run. So we just easy turn that on. Need the gas. Yep. I remember it's windy. I think it's on. Could be wrong. No. That's it, that's on now. I can tell it's on by the smell of the burning hair on the back of my hand. So we'll just knock it up. That's nice and hot there now, see the glow? I get the pot, I've put a measure some water in there. It just sits on. See, see what I mean about that? No, you don't have to muck about locking it on and that it sits there. And that is nice and solid that. Put the lid on because that helps the helps the boil. This lid acts as a lock, the handle acts as a lock, locks onto the lid, so it keeps it nice and secure. When you in transit, let's get off. Everything's awkward with one hand. Alright, so I've got that on. It's blowing quite windy in here. See the grass blowing? But that's still red hot glowing there like that. Come back when that's boiled. Shouldn't take long. Right, it's about a minute later. Look at this. Don't forget, right? Look at the wind. And that's blowing directly onto the stove. It's not affecting it at all. That's a good, good stove in the wind, that. And the heat coming off, it's lovely. 
I think in the winter that would be absolutely fantastic. That's boiled. Honestly, that was uh, that was about a minute, a minute and a bit. I didn't time it, but it wasn't long. So, oh, that's it. Look at, see how windy it is, and it boiled it. No bother. I'm actually amazed at that. So I just pour it into the collapsy mug, All right? Put that on there, and I'll put the lid on. In case I'm not going to over, which I'm bound to. Right, so I'll just set that to one side there. The other thing is, you get this. I think it just clips on there, right? And if you're having a drink in your um, titanium pot, there you go. Just sit it on there, and it doesn't, it doesn't heat it up, it doesn't boil it. it just keeps it warm, which is really good. So you can just sit and have your have your tea there, sit it on the pot holder, the pot stand, keeps it warm. So you're always gonna have a nice warm cup of tea, coffee, whatever you have. That's light as a fair of that mug. And uh, what's the marks in it? 600 mil. Just beginning for a nice cup of tea or soup or whatever. But uh, you just put it on the, sit it on there and see. Set that on again, get this turned on again. The stove might work, but the light is not very good. Right, so you can have it on, have it on low like that. Not too high. Put that, put that mug on there like that. And that's the bottom, it's not heating up. Absolutely, it, it's slightly warm. But look at that in the wind. Excellent. I'm very impressed. Didn't really test it properly on the last video because it obviously wasn't feeling great. But look at that, look how windy it is. You see the steam blowing off that? And that's just sitting there burning away. And that just sits there and it doesn't get hot. Does it? I think it's warm, but not not too hot. Not the boiling point. Very good. Very good. So there you go. The Fire Maple Mars Radiant stove system. I know it looks like another kind of stove, reactor stove. But in the wind, that, that's amazing. That. The heat coming off it is fabulous. It'll be lovely in the winter. Just don't get it near your tent or any of anything else that can catch on. Give it a good radius and ideally have it with the door open outside. I suppose you could cook inside with the door closed, but you'd have to be really careful. That's it. Right, I'm gonna take off, save gas, have my cup of tea. Nice. Fire maple, good stuff. And not too expensive as well, which is always a bonus. I love that. <laughs> right, that's it. Well, I've got my nice cup of tea and my lovely collapsible mug. <laughs> Actually quite nice. Mm. Oh dear, I'm just warming up. It's freezing, it's really cold, that wind's bitter. Rain's on and off, it's, yeah, it's just one of them things. Um, I'm in here now, I've got the tent up, so that's all that matters really. Once you get your tent up, you're all right. In your shelter. I went and found a, a, a loose rock in the wall, so I bashed the pegs in a little bit. They're in a bit better. Put the rock back like. Um, so yeah, that's it. Got some nice food to cook later. I'm just gonna sit and chill out, it's uh, Ooh, it's two minutes to six o'clock. You know who's on the radio, don't you? Yeah, Craig Charles. Thing is with him, you know, he's not doing, um, I don't think he's doing live shows at the minute, so he's not reading out, he's not getting shout outs. So we'll see. If, he, if he's live today, I'll give him a text. Because <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, lovely. Nice start off with a nice cup of tea. Warm you up. Warms you up. That bloody stove warmed the whole tent up. It was mad. 
loving that like that's gonna be great in the winter if it's really cold just put that on low and have it in the in the air in the porch area like I say as long as you're careful with it you should be all right it throws out a hell of a lot of heat mm. anyway we'll come back shortly I'll tell you what's annoying all right I was gonna go to the coast tonight <laughs> that's the coast Bugger. It's nice over there. Oh, come here instead. <laughs> I knew the weather knew it knew I was coming here. The other thing is as well, if you don't like spiders, don't come here because there's loads. I've knocked them all out for now, but there'll be more. They're all up here. They were dropping on us. I'm just sitting looking at the phone, right, and then one dropped on the screen of the phone. I'm like, oh for God's sake! <laughs> there's all sorts coming in. Oh dear. Yeah, and I've put myself through it for your view and pleasure. My pain is your pleasure. Hope you appreciate that. My pain. You know what I always say? Ta-ra to you. Oh, the cows have gone over there. Right. Back to the music. He isn't live. It's a recorded uh, show, so I'll never get a shout out. I wonder why he's doing that. Oh, just do a little bit of filming while I'm out. I'm not sure what these hills are. They look good though. These look interesting. I'll have to investigate and come back. Be camping on them. And then one's over there. Where the weather... The weather's coming in, but it's going... It seems to be going that way. That wind's changed direction. That was coming... You remember earlier, I was saying it was hitting the back of that tent. It's hitting there now. Can't predict it, can you? Just gotta put up with it. Luckily, I've got me a little windproof tent. It's quite wild and it's not moving, man. It's not even moving. The cows have gone there. And there's some down there as well. I was hoping to stay down there. They don't want to come up here, there's nothing. See like earlier I was saying not really bothered by cows but the, the, the problem being they can trip over the guy lanes and they'll just you know what I mean they can wreck that tent if they fell on it like or if they stumbled upon it even worse with me inside it yeah but look at this place so me and Cheb Zoot and Dave Miles I think we're over there on it might have been that one there could have been that one. I'm not very informative, am I? I'm not very helpful. I should look at the map really before I come out with these all these pointing out hills. But I know one thing, it is cold now. I think the big coat might have to come out next day, and this is my summer coat. Oh. But then look, you get moments when there's nothing, no wind. It's nice. Yeah, I'm getting back in. Too cold in the wind. The battery's gonna die. Yeah. I bet you the battery dies. If there's a if there's a cut here, you'll know. So I've got that butcher's flavour. Butcher's flavoured. <laughs> there's a there's a gap. Butcher's flavoured pork loin steak. It's Chinese marinade. It's lovely that. Lovely. Is it Uncle Bensky beats gas prices are high and all that? I don't know, can do it. Shouldn't copy other people, should you? Where the rest are they? Um, and Mexican style barbecue sizzle steaks. I'm not sure if I'll be opening them, to be fair. They do look nice though. Depends how hungry I get. And just to have a bit nibble on. A bit of a German sausage. You're all thinking it. So yeah. We're gonna get this on. The rain's still going on out there. It's horrendous, it's horrendous man. It was, there was no sunset, but look at that. I bet there was in some places, but not up here. We're just getting all this. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's crack on. Let's get cracking. I've got uh, this MSR. Wind Pro is brilliant for cooking this. 
I think the fire the fire maple would be good for keeping it warm. But unfortunately, you can't use the fire maple with a frying pan. It's just not that kind of stove. But you know, that's no bother. Right, all right, let's crack on. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Black beetles. There's beetles all over. All over the shop. I'm suffering with beetles. Yeah. Just turn that down a bit. Well, that's cooking nicely there. So, because it's like less than I thought, I probably will have them sizzle sticks. Sizzle sticks. There's a little steak. Right. So how's the bait, did you say? How's the food, did you say? Let's try a bit. Tell you what. Mmm. It's nice. It's well cooked in that. And it's nice and tender, but it's, it's very, very, um, it's got a lot of aniseed flavor. Like fennel. Uh, aniseed, licorice flavour. Mmm, it's weird. That's not, that's not Chinese spice, that like. It's been over fennelled. It's alright though. It's not horrible. It's edible. It's all that matters, isn't it? As long as it's edible. <clears throat> Didn't like. Here we are then, right? We're having the uh, the barbecue steaks. Let's just do the two minutes either side. That's all right. Just two minutes there. Uh, this is little frying steaks, you know. Shoot and nibble on. It's a bit like having beef jerky, but only beef steak. <laughs> Smells nice. Right, a little bit more fried lights. Pretty much it, like. Wow. A couple of minutes on the other side. It's done. Then I'm just gonna sit and uh, chow on that. I'll put the last one in, right, with a bit of the rice. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. So that's that. Just knock that heat off. <coughs> yep, yeah. nice. I've had a little, a little cut off the side there. I like it. <coughs> beef, beef burgers, eh? Beef burgers. Well, it's the morning after the night before, and we're still here. Didn't get trampled to death by. Marauding cows. Got woken up by them though. They're down there in the valley. So when I go back, I was gonna try and take that hill in there and then go down that way. So I might do that. Failing that, it depends what the drop's like. Just straight down through the cows again. Bloody things. Well, I'm gonna put the kettle on. Just a patch of flat grass, no other trace left. It's time to go, right? I've got packed away in a rush, because look, it's them. Found us. All right, well, I'm going that way, so it's all right. That way, and then down, and there, hopefully we'll stay there. Bloody pain in the arse. All right, good camp. Had a good night last night. It's time to go because the weather's just not getting any better. It's getting worse, in fact. So, we'll catch you on the next one. Unless anything dramatic happens on the way here, I like. But we'll see you for the next camp whenever, wherever, 
as Dolly Parton once said, where have all the roses gone? Tell me why, tell me why did you get very far? Well, I'm back. Yeah, just to point out, I went, I was pitched right up there, I think that was the one. Um, yesterday I went up there and through them cows. This time today though, I came along here, went up the top of that hill there, came back down, back down through the middle. So they weren't really an issue this time. But uh, yeah, they're a bit dodgy cows, you've got to watch them. In that earlier clip where I'm walking through the middle of them, only do that if you're confident. It's not really recommended, like, but the, the thing with cows is they're just curious, they just want to know who you are, what you're doing, you know what I mean? They'll come up here, but if you stop and stand your ground, they'll just, they'll do the same, they'll stop. And if you just keep walking, stand your ground, stop, walk on, eventually they'll lose interest and they'll just let you crack on. But yeah, they can be quite intimidating. So, I mean, if you don't like them, don't go near them. That's it, I'm back at the barn. I remember this path now. So, that's it from the Cheviots on the Scottish side. The weather coming in here. <laughs> Run! All right, we'll see you for the next one. Wherever, when, ah, oh, shut up with that man.